Hey y'all, this is Demona, and this is another Halloween recipe I have for you. And it is peanut butter eyeballs. And the peanut butter eyeball part, the peanut butter part, is rather simple. It's just um, a stick of butter and a container of peanut butter, not smooth, not crunchy. And then a uh, half a teaspoon of vanilla and a box of confectioner sugar. And you mix all that together and then you form them into balls and then you put toothpicks in them like this. Toothpicks in them and you dip them in the chocolate, the white almond bark, and then you let them dry. And then when you finish like that with them, they should look kind of like this. They'll look like that. And then you want to add the details. And there are two ways you can add details to your eyeball. And these are really delicious. Um, not if you're allergic to peanuts, but they are delicious. Um, and they get so many compliments at a party, so I'm going to show you. All right. So I've got right here, I've got some eyeballs that I've done. I have some red food coloring and a toothpick, and as you see, the red co food coloring threw up all over my fingers. Um, and then the other way is to use the gel. I don't like this way as well, but I'll show you how that is. But what I do is I take this eyeball here, and I have it like this because I don't want to get blue on it. And I do this with my toothpick to get the red on it. And then I'll take it and draw with the food coloring onto the almond bark. I'll do this and these are time consuming but the effect is awesome. So I've got one that looks like that. And then I will do some more. Just to wet it. Oops, I kind of went over. But as you see, you can do within the chocolate. It's easy once you get the hang of it to do the little things. And some people paint these veins on with the decorator gel. But I feel the decorator gel is globby and it runs. And once this is on, it sets. Um, so it, it's good to do it with the food color. And sometimes you'll smudge or you'll, you know, so sometimes, but yeah, that's what it is. Imperfection. You want it to not, it can't look perfect because, you know, a bloody eyeball isn't going to look perfect all the time. It's going to get look different each time you do it. So I like doing these and they just have such a good effect. Okay, so you could leave them like this and that'd be just fine. Um, but with the decorator gel, you can go like this. You can do a dot in the middle for a pupil and that looks good. And then you can take your blue, I have blue, green, red, whatever, whatever you want, and then make your little iris. So you got it that way. And you can fill in the spot. You can make them look like that. They look really good. Or, this is what I've done in the past, and it's a lot of fun, especially for kids. Um, I stamp it using this food coloring. I stamp it like this, and I'll actually squirt a little bit in there. So when they bite it, they're going to get a, a thing of food coloring. And I'll do green, and I'll do blue, like that. So you can do them either way and they look good so it just depends on how you want to do it if you want to be a little bit more gaggy and get everybody's teeth and tongues all uh, colorful or if you want to stay away from food coloring this is not for you um, or you can do it this way but these are my peanut butter eyeballs and these were featured in the paper 
One year, the paper came and did a story on my Halloween party, and these were the ones that were on the paper, in the paper at the front. So um, they're delicious, they're lots of fun, and they have a great effect uh, for Halloween. And so those are my peanut butter eyeballs. I hope you enjoy. Bye, y'all. Happy Halloween.